Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Maricar Sison and welcome to our course, Methods of Research. Today, we're going to discuss research paper format and style. The thesis format of writing scientific paper is divided into five chapters as follows. Chapter 1, The Problem and Its Setting. Chapter 2, The Review of Related Literature and Studies. Chapter 3, Research Methodology. Chapter 4, Presentation, Analysis, and Interpretation of Data. Chapter 5, Summary of the Findings, Conclusions, and Recommendations. For Chapter 1, The Problem and Its Setting, the following are the parts. Number 1. Introduction Statement of the problem Assumptions Hypothesis if needed Conceptual or theoretical framework Significance of the study Scope and delimitation And definition of terms For Chapter 2, Review of Related Literature and Studies, this chapter is composed of literatures be it local or foreign, or both, and related studies which are commonly written and presented in topical division style or thematic style. The relationship of the reviewed literature and studies to the current literature and studies to the current study usually integrated in the paper. This means not to separate section may be constructed for this part. In other schools, Chapter 3 Heading is called methodology, research methodology, methods and procedures, or methodology of research. Research methodology consists of the following parts. The research design to be used, the research local, the samples and sampling technique, the research instruments, procedures of the study, ethics in research, and statistical analysis of data. However, the researcher must refer to the institutional format. For Chapter 4, Presentation, Analysis, and Interpretation of Data, here, each of the presented questions in the statement of the problem is stated in the declarative form and is followed by the results, based on the data collected and analyzed. The same may be proved and disapproved the studies and literature reviewed in Chapter 2. The data can be presented through the use of tables, text, graphs, and figures if needed. After the data have already been presented in tabulated and textual forms or other forms, then the data are analyzed and interpreted substantially. This is the final chapter in a research report, and it is usually Chapter 5, Summary, Conclusions, and Recommendations. It has three subsections, namely, Summary of Findings, Conclusions, and Recommendations. Only the major and salient findings are included in this chapter. Also, problems must have their respective findings. The results of the hypothesis, if there is, must be presented. Conclusions are valid outgrowths of findings, and therefore, they are not supported or justified. Recommendations are drawn from the findings and conclusions of the study. They must be feasible to be implemented, workable or functional, doable, adaptable, and flexible. They must be specific or general or both. A suggestion for further studies must be included. The guidelines in writing the research report will be discussed in the next chapter. That's all for now. Thank you and keep safe.